Hey, what one? Long time in a sooner. I'm a day. I do a one hour walk. Zen. Been one hour on the treadmill. Zen. Healthy heart. Healthy mind. Healthy soul. Yeah. I've been eating cow food. Oh, Jesus. I've been beating cow food. Ox tail, rice and peas. Oh Jesus. Oh Jesus. I've been stuffing. I've been eating all food and ox tail every day. Did you check on me? Did you check on me? I've been eating hormone chicken and beer bad food. Did you check on me? I went to Europe. Oh Jesus. I had one of the nicest burger. Not a furry burger, you know. Not a furry burger. Ah. A beef burger. Not a furry beef burger. But a burger. Yeah. Nice burger, me tell I say, yo. When you eat burger in a Europe, you know man. I tell you a gin. <laughs> At that you call burger. Cause them say the European beef, you know. Now we work for hormone like the beef them over the side. You know? So every time I go to Europe nowadays, I have to get a burger. You see? To eat. Not a furry burger. A Burger King burger. You see? From the restaurant. Yeah, man. My office slapped me a burger. My office slapped me a burger. Yeah. But did you check on me? Did you check on me? Ooh. See, me I tell you, Lisa said, not a fur burger. You still have a fur burger. You can't bother your star. Come here, tell you the truth. And you want me to tell life for myself. You see? I want me to tell a lie for myself that I can't deal with right now. I mean, I have to tell no lie for myself. See? So, speed pandas. Because speed pandas. Yo, the other day, you know, I tell us I'm in the plane, you know, or jet blue, you know, and I had an aisle seat, right? And I fell asleep, right? And it's like my knee. Like me, my foot basically veered out a little bit into the, the aisle area, right? So, I, like I fell asleep that way. I mean, I tell us the woman, you know, the attendant that pushed the cat, the drinks cat, come down. It seems, you know, like she pushed the cat fast, you know. I mean, I tell us, you know, Virgin. I'm going to feel sitting in the ladder. Clap me in my knee, no man. One lick. The woman push the cat in my knee. From that, I can't run properly. But I have to walk in a beer pain. But I have to do it because I don't want to get fat. Because I've been eating cow foot, ox tail, rice and peas. So I'm in a rock and a hard place. If I don't burn it off, then it's another problem that so I have to work out in a excruciating knee pain. But I say it when you're a soldier, you know? Yeah. yeah you know, so when you call a lawyer upon them something here, you know? Come like you do, even makes sense, Virgin, because. I have all the shows coming up. And I can't go to the promoter them say. I can't perform on them show. I have to do a soldier out and go and ice it. Yeah. I tell you, Virgin. The woman just lick me on my knee with the frigging cap, man. It was very apologetic still, but that's for sure you say. You know, you have to be more responsible when you know you're driving 
a cart up in the air where the plane move. You know? Yeah. Anyway, that was a bad mishap on that flight, but something great happened on that flight. Something great happened on that flight, right? I want you to hear me out, because this is what I really want to talk about. Something positive. Something great happened on that flight, right? No. We boarded the flight, right, in Kingston. So we boarded the flight. So I'm there sitting in my seat, right? So I saw my virgin, Luciano. Luciano, the great singer Luciano. I saw him, saw Luciano coming on the plane. So I was like, wow, go on, big singer. Right? But I was speaking to Luciano, but Luciano now didn't he turned his back like so. He never really, you know, he never really get a chance to see me trying to big him up. However, <coughs> Dexter Labs was coming on the plane at the same time right so because the proximity of the space the aisle and the, the seat them i believe dexter thought is him me a big up a big singer too so when me say now what well, one great singer big singer what well, one big singer dexter you know he's right in the vicinity too but you know say Me and Dexter never good because I do look a thing with me and killer. I'm a feel like Dexter shouldn't get involved because worse is a man who may always defend. When I see people I try to tear him down. And secondly, one of my favorite artists, like me just rate him as one of the greatest Jamaican singers of all time, you know? Him go up on stage and him sing but him sang them. Him no go out a key, he's like I actually envy his voice control on stage. Like it's something I envy. It's like something I want to study. It's like when I hear the man on stage and you know it's like his command of the audience virgin. It's like when we used to watch Beanie man. And I just have that level of respect for Beanie. Voice control. Them things there. I'm just naturally a great singer. Great singer. Yeah? We never hear the man sing out a key yet. And as a as an artist, you know, you appreciate them thing there. Like when we appreciate Barrington Levy as a man who never sing out a key yet. You know? Yeah. So the little thing that they go on and we back and forth. Yeah? So Dexter, you know, thought I was talking to him when I said, Wa go a big singer. So guess what? Remember say me a habit say me a Dexter enemy, you know. Enemies, you know. Be somebody go on, right? And I think that it uncalled for. So him come forward and boom off my fist. And I say, yeah man singer, you don't know respect all the time, you know, you hear that respect all the time. So, I'm <laughs> shocked. I'm shocked, you know, people. Come here, say, Blow out, star. A Lucian, I'm mean, really a call to you, know, but you know where I go and sing? Uh, you may a call to you, yeah, man. <laughs> so, I just, me just have to hear yeah, man sing, man. I want to hear man. I don't know, a big respect, man. Every time, man. Big respect. So, the, the general went back and you know, sit down in my seat and Lucian and I got my attention. So he come forward and he must say, yo, re, 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 re. So even though I was happy to see Lucian, I have not seen him in a long time. And me and him have all sang together and performed together. It's like the, the joy. If you know, say, yo, there's something here between me and Dexter, don't you know? 
That's something here does. An unfortunate situation. And I say no. So I sit down on my seat and I meditate on it. And I'm saying to myself, right? Look how Dexter that and me now just come to a nice peaceful resolution. Right? Everything died right there. All the bad vibe. All the bad energy died right there. But we're on a flight. And the flight up in the air, yeah? And I'm saying to myself, well, I was sitting there and I fell asleep. I fell asleep with the thoughts then. You know, until some the thing licked me on my knee. I'm a jump about I'm asleep. I said, well, fuck. But I was there. You know? Meditating and what just transpired and I say to myself, say, yo. So one of the thoughts I made that I say. If something should, should happen to us in the ear right now, say, an unfortunate situation happen, right? And people never get the chance to see us again, to see me and see the startups. You know, and an unfortunate situation happened, right? So nobody not really know what happened on the flight with me and Dexter Dabs, right? People would have it in their mind to say, yeah man, Vegas are P-U-S-S-Y. If this Dexter Dabs, and maybe some of my people them would have said, Dexter, a P-U-S-S-Y, in violate Vegas. See, and people would have hold that for eternity, because them never know, say, me and him come to a peaceful resolution. Me and him now share the positive energy. You understand me, I say? And this is something we're not supposed to share, because um, I just a moment with me and him, but why me I share it? Me I say, yo, we, you know, enough time, we as a people, we, we're so tribal, you know, that we may take up people burden and we take up people problems and we fight against people where the thing that have nothing to do with us so people when, if something had happened the people them were they just say Vegas it's your mother because of Dexter Labs you know and my situation or my people would say Dexter it's your mother they would even know say a moment was shared with me and the general came to be a peaceful, you know, resolution, a peaceful vibe. And people would have that, not knowing, say, yo, let me share a moment where them are no longer enemies, you know, they are no longer enemies, you know. And I don't know what people get from this. Eh? Sometimes you see some people have problem with each other. Stay away or tight, stay or tight. Love it. This even brings me to all. What me I think, me I say, you know, say that could have been born to kill up on the plane. And maybe me a heal being the man. And born to think, say, I'm me a heal. And come forward and say, warm to you, sing a man. Big up yourself, man, I warm to you. Brr. And we are going. Brr. And people would even know, you know, say, me and killer came to a peaceful resolution, right? That's all. People that still have it in their mind till eternity, I say, yo, the man, this killer. So the lesson is, the moral of the argument is virgin. When you see some things that happen between people, animosity, them things, eh, don't fan the flame. Try to be a peacemaker. Try, if you're going to get involved, try to say, yo, the two are great people, man. Try and work it out. See, so, we don't share it with you, no? not because. Um, me I look no, uh, applaud for it, applaud for it, not because I want to like me, because I know I don't care about that still, I care about the truth, see, but in a life, you see two people having problems, if you can't put a positive energy to it, leave it alone, because you don't know, them two persons there can come to a resolution and leave you fighting, you know, fighting, you know, having stress, having nightmare, riling up yourself over a situation where it's resolved. So, dig up yourself, Dexter Dabs, 
I just saw the universe work. I lose you and I did that heal. But I saw the universe work. Because me and you know, nothing have nothing. Me and you know, have nothing, bro. Because you are one of the best singers Jamaica has ever seen. I mean, I said that lightly, brethren. You fit all of the criteria, them. We make great people, brethren. You fit them criteria, them. Zin, me is a major fan, brother. Are your work, bro? You see me? I say, I'm just glad, say. We find a peace, there, bro. Big up yourself, my G. I want to tell a little story. <laughs> me did have a song in the studio, you know, where I'm. I throw some work on some artists, you know. And me, me say, yo, me can't get to that plane, I land, you know. And as the plane land, me link chemist and say, chemist, me come check you, me come check you. And I just go and take out Dexter that name out of the song. Well, I still left him acting name because he have to come to the piece. And I still left him two locks name because he still have to come to the piece. Because what? Me and them are supposed to really have nothing. You see what I say? Yeah. But, there you have it, people. Yeah, man. I always try to support peace, man. Don't take up artist problem on your head. See? Big up yourself, my G. My G. Dexter Dabs. We'll be in New York, August. We'll be having one of the biggest show, one of the biggest shows for the year. Dexter Dabs, Idonia, Mavado. Wow. Um, Wayne Wanda. Wow. Sirani. Wow. Then, Vegas. Wow. Cape Town, I think, on the same bill. New York City, August. Look out for the promo because Elephant Man can't let him out. Yeah, the energy guy. Yeah? Big up yourself. Again, big up yourself, Dexter Dabs. And the universe was turning that way there that day on the flight. So me, you can realize eh, what we are arguing about, what we are quarreling about, what we mad at each other about. Nothing. And we are just mere flesh and blood. So if something had happened, we would have just depart in peace. You see me, I say, while the whole world of us. So make that be a lesson. See? Back into my walking.